When we think about production yachts, very often names such as Sunseeker, Azimut, Ferretti spring to mind, sleek looking yachts with a very recognisable look right across the range. Now to challenge these builders to bring a new yacht and a new brand to the market, it takes real courage, but it takes more than that to be successful. You need something extra in the yacht and you really need to have a quality that's absolutely second to none. At the Cannes Boat Show last year, one yacht brand tried to do exactly that. The name is Dreamline, and in my opinion, they knocked it right out of the park. Dreamline came to Cannes with a 26 metre model. Now that's 85 foot, so she's going head to head with the likes of the new Sunseeker 86, the Azimut 84, or the Ferretti 870. One of the big differences between those yachts and the Dreamline, though, is found here at the front of the superstructure, which is surrounded by large windows. Now, that's because the master stateroom is located on the main deck of the yacht. And just look at the effect that this has from the inside. Masses of light flooding into the cabin. Now, it would be a pretty amazing way to start the day by lifting the electric blinds and taking in the view. I was so impressed that I went back three times to take a look at the boats during the Can Boat Show alone. I took captains and I took colleagues with me and they were all equally impressed. Now you'd think that locating the master stateroom on the main deck would leave very little space on board for other areas, but incredibly, that's not the case. There are three more cabins below deck level and the VIP stateroom, it's really spectacular. Uh, the saloon is also a very good size. It has a dining area and plenty of space for people to sit around the table and to be served. But one of the biggest surprises was the flybridge, which seemed to belong to a 100-foot yacht rather than an 85. This too had a dining area, a bar, a jacuzzi, it had sunbathing. On top of that, the Dreamline 26 has space in the transom to house a 4.7 metre tender. Now to put that in perspective, an 86 foot Sunseeker doesn't have a lazaretta in the garage. You can have one as an option in which you can fit a 3.8 metre tender. The Ferretti has a very small lazarette for a very small tender. And the Azimuth, well, it's just the same story once again. Now to be fair, each one of those builders on their comparable model will fit a larger tender on the flybridge. But quite honestly, who wants to use the flybridge, which is such a great area of the boat to use, for something like tender storage? Possibly the most interesting innovation that Dreamline bring to the market though is the hull design. They're using a shape that they call a Llama Waveless hull design. And they say that this dramatically reduces fuel consumption. In fact, the boat consumes just 75 litres an hour at 12 knots, and it contributes towards the yacht's incredible range of 3,500 nautical miles. Now, as a yacht broker, I'm not here to promote any particular brand of yachts. Every yacht has its strengths and has its weaknesses. Uh, the Dreamline is a little bit slower than the competitors. It does 29 to 30 knots top speed, whereas the Sunseeker, the Azimut and the Ferretti all quote speeds of between 30 and 32 knots. The engine room on the Dreamline was a good size, but access to the engine room was pretty tight. What I would say though is this, if you're in the market for a new yacht that's in the 85 foot range, Dreamline should really be on your radar and is well worth taking a look at along with the other yachts of the competitors. They have an interesting range of products soon to arrive too, including a 30 meter, a 34 meter, which will be launched and delivered next year. So you can take a look at a finished version of that. They have a 40 meter, a 46 meter, and a 49 meter as a project too. All of these are yachts which I hope to look at in greater detail in future vlogs. So if you have a passion for yachting, if you're interested in new products, do subscribe. You can see the link below. You can see the link to my blog above. And I look forward to keeping in contact with you in the future.